How long? How long is the tunnel? How long? Uh, one and a half kilometers. Yeah. One kilometer. Very long. I think. Very yeah. long. But it looks longer with the bike. Yes. Yeah. Are there other people following you? No. No. Okay, yeah. we'll try. We got the lights on. Okay. Have a nice day. Ach du Scheiße. Hallo eure Windeln an. So we just got back from a 10 day vacation down in the uh, Western Alps um, and we think it, we can call it an overlanding trip, right? I mean, it does qualify as an overlanding trip um, because we were living out of our vehicle, you know, completely self-sustained, like you're supposed to on an overlanding trip, I mean, eventually. and. We didn't use any public showers. That's the second criteria, right? So, um, we took the discovery with the equipment you oh, already see. saw. Yeah, that was close. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's, no, that's not good enough. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Because the man is so schnell. Yeah, we, we're driving only 80. Yes, but you saw what other people do. So we put together a bunch of videos and we want to show you what the Western Alps in Europe between Italy and France look like. What's now going on? <laughs> well, she can't do that while I'm driving by. You gotta relax a little bit. It's, uh, it's, all, it's all good. We well, hope this is interesting. Enjoy. How much I supposed to? Yeah, this is going up pretty long. Yeah. 
think he bites them once in a while. Yeah, yeah. He already bit the slowest one. So this is the Mont Blanc and this is the highest mountain in Europe and of course in the Alps, right? Yes, and it's, you can see it. You yeah, know? normally it's, uh, it's all in clouds Cloud. and today is blue sky and it's really amazing. So you're approaching 6,000 feet now. Yeah. Up there it's 2,000 meters. Yeah. And it's 28 degrees outside. We're not going to get any snow. Yeah. Well, this ain't no black beer pass, but that's about as good as it's going to get in the Alps. At least it's gravel. It's kind of rough. And there are no high and it's somewhat steep and you are driving yeah I can yeah. I was stuck behind the tractor so we are approaching Col de Isaran 2240 meters yeah. and the car has so much less power up here it's just unbelievable well I'm assuming at the pass there's a huge tourist yeah, happening again. Maybe they have bratwurst with sauerkraut. So we are on top of the Col de Isaran, and that is at an altitude of 2764 meters. <laughs> Vera wants to get a magnet up here. One of those refrigerator magnets. <coughs> this one? Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. You happy now? Yeah. Okay. I get a gonna, magnet everywhere. We're gonna have to get a bigger refrigerator. Mm. We still this have good food. Yeah, this is when it's out mm. in the moon. This is good. And of course chocolate. I mean we are from Germany. Aber der eine Freund hat Frischkäse, den Chap Chap sonst nur normalen Frischkäse, der schmeckt aber mit. Also diese Brezel in Frischkäse gedunkt schmeckt auch super lecker. Now this is supposed to be German. We pushed the German language flag anyway, but it's still French. So there is no German in France. came up. See, it would have been possible to drive in here. This does not stop a discovery.
Today we're gonna go on a hiking trip. Uh, I guess that's how it is. He's just so much faster than me. I can't keep up with him. But I'm still faster than these two guys. back into the car well it's 520 and we left the car at 1035 Wow though this road is really impressive it climbs and climbs and it has really tight turns there would be no chance to find this road by just looking at a map. We found this in a guidebook and it's a really old mountain pass We're following some trail from the Romans. Really impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy yeah, yeah. your ride. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. <laughs> You're doing good. So Vera got a license plate from Switzerland from some mountain bikers. They gave it to us and they said in uh, some Italian and broken English um, as much as somebody lost it and we got to take it up the mountain pass and maybe we find the owner of the license plate. So. is the highest spot you can get legally with a motor vehicle in the Alps and it takes you all the way to I think 3100 or 3150 meters and it cost five euros entrance fee to get onto this road and the scenery is absolutely magnificent that is quite awesome here. So we are at 2389 
which means we still have 700. 600 meters at least to go. Yeah. Oh, have the problem? Do you need help? No, I think we're all right. Help. Okay. Good. We have we have all the tools, you know. If okay, you need something, we have all the all the tools. All the tools. <laughs> Definitely in the snow line, and it looks like the road is free. Last week it was still blocked. So now we took the discovery as far as possible. That's about at 3,000 meters. And because we're in Italy, some dude will take his regular small car all the way up here. Now, just to show us four-wheel drive enthusiasts that our vehicles are completely unnecessary. Are oh, there are even some side-by-sides from Polaris here. They are quite rare. So this is an original Renault, built in 1956 and it is not raced in any way. This is all original. This is incredible. Look at the size of this axle. Just the paint job is redone. What an incredible big vehicle. So, talking about SUVs, this was sure an early SUV, it beats the Ford Bronco, incredible. Yeah, Will is cheap, also very good condition. 